It has been palpable tension in Arabo location in Baringo South ever since the two politicians were killed in cold blood. And with the subsequent murder of one person in an attack that also left a woman nursing life-threatening injuries, authorities have launched a major operation targeting those behind the heinous acts. A contingent of police officers what today in the area with the government conducting aerial surveillance as a search for peace in an area that has perennially experienced armed conflicts intensifies. This has area residents put more pressure on the government to provide security amid fears of retaliatory attacks. Led by Baringo Deputy Speaker Douglas Kiplimo, the residents say they are living in fear. Insecurity or criminals do not uh, do not come from any community. Criminals are criminals. And those people who are carrying illegal firearms are criminals. They don't come from a community. They need to be apprehended. They need to be disarmed. I the latest part of criminality has resulted in increased tension and suspicion among the various communities living within the region, with locals staging demonstrations in Tiati and Marigat to condemn rising insecurity. I request the government to kindly come and provide a lasting solution to this insecurity problem. We as members of the county assembly also are very much concerned about our security. As you can see, they are targeting people who are arresting, who are very peaceful, and they were unarmed. And uh, this has really shocked us and it has made the whole assembly, uh, we are in a state of panic. The slain politicians, lawyer Morocco, MCA, Frederick Cherete, and Tiati parliamentary aspirant Simon Kitamba was shot dead on Sunday morning inside the T-Junction bar and restaurant in Marigat town.